Hi everyone, I am going to do a slightly simpler day at bow today because obviously I've done quite a few complicated ones the last couple of days. So this one is a twisted duo bow and it is an alternative version to the Pika bow, which is this. And it's great for using little scraps of ribbon that you've got le left over on your rolls, etc. Once you've made some of the bigger ones and bits and pieces like that, because you only need two pieces of 19 centimetres or two pieces of seven and a half inches. So like I say, it's not an awful lot of ribbon. And you will need your glue gun, your fabric scissors, some 1.5 inch ribbon, tape measure, some clips to hold your ribbon as you go along, your needle, extra strength thread or upholstery thread or pearl thread as long as it's not cotton that will potentially snap you light it to heat seal or your ribbon and like i said i have some super super cute versions that i made last night got these little green ones and then i have done some blue ones and I'm going to do another pink, pink version, pink tone version. And as you can see, you've got this way and that way. And like I said, they're just adorable, really. And again, it's one of these ones where you can sort of pull it like so or tuck it. So you get the smaller shape as well. Let's just move all of this that way. Put them in little side baskets. And as you can see, I've already got my ribbon. Ready to go. Getting more organised now. So these are the two pieces of 19 centimetres or a seven and a half inches. And I will put up the other sizes once I've worked all of those out because they should be pretty similar to standard tux bow sizes but I will check later for you what you want to do is you want about 1.5 centimeters either side so you get about five centimeters or two inches long and again, any alligator clips or anything that will hold your ribbon in place as we're folding everything and getting the stitches in so it doesn't slip about. Okay, and I'm just going to heat seal the ends as well. And if you want to extra secure where the ribbons overlap and then pinch, it will stick those together and this is why crafters have uh, no fingerprints okay so that's one side and that's your other what we're going to do is make sure both sides are the same which is what you want. You want it to be the same width all the way along. And we're going to fold in half. And we're going to heat seal this to get a nice crease for us to... There we go. Now to make the um, peekaboo version which was a little gingerbread one you would bring both like so and stitch like um, a normal tux bow and like I said you just get the little bit hint of dark pink beneath or you can do the duo version, twisted version and it is just over the crease a little bit and then i'm going to move that so it can hold it in place and then we fold this one back again just over that crease the teeniest bit just so you've got 
something to stitch through there you can see about half a centimeter maybe less on both sides okay um, I'm just going to tie off my thread because I haven't done that for once is how easy this version is like i said it's super cute for like little pigtails and things like that and again you've got a lot of options on your colors and from above one two three four five six take your whole clips out Make sure you've caught all your layers and you want in, one, two, out, one, two, three on the back. As you can see, we've caught all of those, that's good. And then we're going to cinch. And then wrap. and then stitch off in the back And there we go. That's how easy it is. Okay. I won't embarrass you by showing my ribbon, nine mil ribbon tub. It's just next to my foot. I've had to order a ribbon spool um, wrapping tool for my ribbon because I am not very organised with it at the moment and I need to sort that out ASAP because I'm losing track of what colours and things like that I've got and ordering things that I don't need and then not ordering ribbon that I do need so once I've got that all organised again touch of glue on my clip right on the back just hold that for a second okay heat seal the end Yeah, organising all of my ribbon properly is definitely going to be a task for me for the next couple of weeks. I want it all colour coordinated and everything so that I can literally go, right, there's all my pink tones, there's all my blue tones, and just be able to reach them without even stressing myself out. So, sorry about that. Wrap your middle as normal, twice round. might even go so far as buying some new storage and hold down and there you go an adorable twisted duo bow like I said you can put it either way around like I said the perfect pigtails you can put bubbles on them instead 
you've got every colour option that you can possibly think of and each bow basically gives you two options because like I said it can be worn one upside or down and like I said you don't have to stick to these ones I will say the if you want to try this with prints it would be advisable to only use ones that are double sided because if you've got the prints that are ah, there we go so if you've got prints like this that are printed on one side and white on the black back when you go to fold them and I'll show you because we fold one that way and one this way you'd see the white on one side so like I said you'd either have to double them or only use uh, double sided printed ones and they're quite rare okay thank you for watching me like I said do come and join me over on my Facebook group it's Catherine's Ribbon Bow, uh, Bow Tutorials and Follow Alongs thank you for watching please um, share uh, like subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell uh, to re receive um, notice when I put no new videos up because I will be putting quite a few out at the moment um, and like I said I always love seeing all the bows that you make with the two tutorials so do put some pictures up for me and show me because like I said it rarely makes my day when I see them or people tell me that they've enjoyed making something that I've taught you how to do so uh, thank you for watching bye